Hi lovelies, it's Sarah from El Emporium. I hope you are all well. Today I'm going to be showing you five different tutorials on how to do animal print. These tutorials are super quick and super easy. The first look that we're going to create is the cow print nail design. The cow print look is super easy to create. Um, all you need is a white base. My base that I'm using here is polar because I wanted to have a little bit of a shimmer base. Um, and then all you need is a dotting tool and some black detail paint. And then you just want to go in and put random shapes of random sizes all over the nail until you're happy with it. Have fun when you're creating this look. I love that in the nail industry, everyone's take on nail art is completely different. So my cow print may be a little bit busier than yours, but just keep on adding black shapes until you're happy with it. In this tutorial, I did decide to go in and add some black dots in the gaps in between the cow print. Um, but actually, I don't feel like it needed it when I put that on my nails. And when you feel like enough is enough, pop it into a Hona approved lamp and give it a cure. The next look I'm going to be showing you how to create is the zebra print. First of all, I've gone in with a white detail paint as a full coverage and I um, applied it using Hona's large gel brush. Using Hona's black detail paint and their long liner brush, you want to go in with medium to light pressure and draw Y shapes and add some lines in. And you want to use medium to light pressure so you can see where in areas I've put more pressure down and it's thicker and the areas that are not as thick is where I've put light pressure on the brush. This is another one of those designs that you're going to keep building on so you just have to keep on adding more until you're happy with it. So I did this without curing but if you're worried about smudging or anything like that you can flash cure in between each line. Pop it into the lamp when you're happy with it and this look is complete. Next I'm going to show you how to create a giraffe print. So my base on this one is pudding pure foundation and then I've gone in with a very thin coat of sunshine um, detail paint. To create the giraffe print I've gone in with Hona's fine liner brush and um, Seville detail paint. You don't want any of the shapes to be the same size, you don't want them looking the same, you do not want this to be even and perfect. When you're drawing the giraffe shapes on your print you want them so that they are almost touching. Um, so if you want a flash cure in between, go for it. You want them as close as you can get them, but without them touching, so that you get that nice, thin yellow line between each shape, because it just adds to the giraffe effect. I love that when you're creating a giraffe print and any other animal print nail design, it takes very minimal paint, so a little bit of paint goes such a long way, which is great value for money. Keep drawing your shapes on your giraffe print until you are happy with it. Some of the shapes on this giraffe print, I have overlapped the yellow slightly because I just thought it looked a little bit better like that. Um, but by all means, have fun with this and I can't wait to see um, your recreations. Now for one of my favourite animal print designs. So the base that I'm using here is Prairie from the Radio Nights collection and white detail paint and I've ombre them together using the gel oval brush. Now you want to grab your long liner brush and your black detail paint. Start off with an uneven V in the centre of the nail. Grab your liner brush, grab your black detail paint and paint some V's essentially on the nail. You don't want them to be even, you don't want them to all be in the same direction. If you're worried about smudging or um, the lines bleeding into each other, then feel free to flash cure in your Hona approved lamp in between each section. Keep drawing on your V's in different directions, adding those lines in using medium to light pressure. 
you can see in the different areas of the nail where I've used light pressure, where I've used medium pressure. This really is another one of those looks where you can just keep building it up. Keep on adding your black lines until you're happy with it and then cure it in a Hona approved lamp. Last but definitely not least, I have created a leopard slash cheetah print nail design. The base for this one is Pearl Pure Foundation, which is stunning. Under the light um, and under natural light, you can see an iridescent shimmer in it and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I've gone in with slipper and I've drawn half of a smile line. So I'm doing the same again on the opposite side. I'm drawing a smile line, but this time I'm using Seville um, Detail Paint by Hona and I am also using their long liner brush. So once you're happy with the placement of those, um, this is where the magic happens. Using Hona's gel oval brush, um, I've gone in and I've kind of ombre those together. And then I've also wiped away um, the areas where I may have gone over the line slightly. I decided to add more of the slipper detail paint just to make it slightly lighter in areas. And then I popped it into the lamp to cure. Now I've gone in with the cherry detail paint and the long liner brush again. And I'm just drawing a red smile line at the edge of where I've just done that ombre of the two different browns. I cured that in the lamp and now I am applying Olympus Gold Flakes. Just to give the nail that little bit extra. Once happy with the placement of the gold flakes, I've gone in with the fine liner brush and black detail paint and I've drawn the outline of the leopard print shapes onto the nail and over the top of the gold flake. This was such a fun nail design to create and I'm so glad what was in my head actually worked out on the nail. <laughs> Again, uh, you can, if you're new to nail art, you can flash cure um, between each section that you do. However, I did not. I just went straight in with um, the black detail paint. Oh, sorry, I've gone a little bit out of shot there. Um, yeah, I went straight in with the detail paint and um, drew the shapes on top of the gold leaf. And then once I was happy with it, um, I added a few extra um, black shapes to the nail before popping it into the Hona approved lamp. Thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to tag me in your recreations at Ellenporium.